What's up everyone? Uh, I'm back with another uh, tutorial or it's not a tutorial it's just basically I just want to share case uh, one of the case use case scenario so what happened just assume like you're running the Jenkins at your local host at port 8080 or any other port and now somehow you forget your username or password and you try to log in but it's saying denied and you have certain jobs inside which is running so how you should be able to get sign in inside the Jenkins and what you don't know about your username or password so it's a pretty straightforward task in the in the Jenkins so I'm just gonna show you just right now so so what we're going to do right now so you hopefully you can see my terminal now so let me just change my permission to root now I'm signing as root we go inside the wallet Jenkins folder uh, maybe it is in the same directory as me as inside the wallet and Jenkins or maybe in another directory so you have to find out where you actually install your Jenkins and it, sometimes it's actually depend upon your package manager as well so like uh, different package managers try to install in different directories so make sure just find out uh, using some kind of a find grep or locate command uh, in Linux and try to search where is your Jenkins directory installed once you find your Jenkins directory go inside your directory and type like ls lah so you will see there are a bunch of different files we will gonna focus on the XML file of this one and we can see the permissions are retried for the user so we have the permissions of retried and it is the owner and the group is actually belongs to the Jenkins so now what we're gonna do uh, using a vim we're gonna open this XML which is the configuration file for the Jenkins and disable the security tag so you can see there is a tag called use security so currently it is as a true and I'm gonna insert now I'm gonna change to false uh, this configuration file is actually considered as a case sensitive files which means either you can either if you type uh, capital F A L S E or if you type false in a small it's gonna consider differently and if you type a uh, false in the capital letters it's not gonna work so it's a case sensitive file so just be, be careful with these things so let me just save the file once you save the file we're gonna restart the Jenkins once it's gonna restart I'm gonna check the status or status of your Jenkins just to know so we can see the status is actually active and it's showing me loaded correctly and also it's showing me correct version of Java is found everything looks good so if I'm gonna reload it's without asking any permissions it's gonna give me the sign in inside so now you can see the sign in but the chances are it will give us the warning now there can be different cases arises here if you are running on the local host and whatever the internet provider or the internet you're using that particular provider you are not sharing your IP with other providers other like if you're living in a home or in an apartment but you're sharing the networks with others then there is a chance of security concern but if you are the only one in your house who's using a Jenkins and you don't share your network provider with anyone then there is no concern because you're running everything locally still uh, I suggest always make sure uh, have some set of a password before uh, in your Jenkins portal otherwise it's gonna be an issue especially when you are working or deploying your Jenkins applications in the cloud so now once we log in uh, how can we actually set up the new admin users uh, it is not like the AWS things because uh, so even if we delete the old user it doesn't make any changes so now you can see we are already logged in and you see there is a notification because it's telling us the Jenkins is currently unsecured and it actually allows anyone in the network so if anyone who's running the local host 8080 can actually see and sign in inside your Jenkins which is a really security concern so now what we're gonna do we're gonna first let me see what was my user ID so you can see this is my user ID which actually I created but in unfortunately in Jenkins there is no way you can actually find out what password you put it easily so what I'm gonna do I'm just gonna delete this one because I don't require this one because I need the same user ID name for the new one so let's just click on this one and set up the security either you can click on this link if you don't see this particular thing so uh, if you don't f uh, get any notification what you can do go to your manage Jenkins inside the manage Jenkins you will see the configure global security 
both of them actually gonna take you to the same page now you will see a bunch of different options or the parameters so what we're gonna do first of all with the security realm we're gonna select the Jenkins on user database we are telling the uh, basically Jenkins that we already own a user database and then in the authorizations we're gonna select login users can do anything uh, no I'm gonna tick untick the anonymous read access okay and one more thing uh, I would like to show you while I deleted the people so there is no people by default if you delete every people inside the Jenkins it's actually create the anonymous so which is the anonymous is the, by its name it's selling like it's anonymous and it is created by itself and you don't have any of your users inside this people uh, tab all right so now we already set up the logged in user can do anything and once you're actually gonna save apply it's gonna give you the okay so Jenkins on the user database so give us the what is the user first admin username you want to put so since I already deleted the user ID of the earlier users so I'm just gonna put again my username which is the Amo Sharma and this time I'm gonna remember the password even if I don't remember I know what uh, how can I actually uh, recreate a password or how can I log in and see all the jobs which I'm running inside my Jenkins I'm gonna provide my full name and I'm just gonna provide my email ID and that's it once you actually uh, successfully log in you can actually go to the dashboards and do everything even if now I log out you see it's not uh, actually giving me sign in because I already set up the admin user so it will gonna ask me the username so I am gonna put my password and my user ID and that's it we already log in and if I'm just gonna show you here what you think what will happen is it gonna show us true or false in the security tab probably the chances is now the security tab has been updated to the true so you see I actually made it false but it's actually updated by itself to true based on the Jenkins admin user when we actually created uh, that's it from my side guys if you like it let me know uh, this is really a short tutorial it's not a tutorial I'll say like I reckon this is just a demonstration of the use case like if you stuck with the this kind of a small bugs or the troubleshooting things so uh, hope you like this video so uh, please thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you want it <laughs> Have a nice day. Bye-bye. <gasps>